Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Movement with Kaylin. Uh, today I have a Pilates standing workout for you and we're gonna use one prop with this workout. We're gonna use a towel. So um, anything around this size, a bath towel, kitchen towel, um, we're gonna use this in many of our moves today. So go ahead and pause the video and grab this now. And um, we're gonna be doing mostly work in the lower body today, some balance work, um, lots of strength work with the legs. We'll also get lots of core control and stability just inherently from the exercises that we're doing. And then at the end, we'll add in a little bit of upper body as well. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start in an, um, a standing position right underneath the hips here. So. So really spread those toes. You can feel all four corners of your feet. Now I'm gonna face sideways just so you guys can see me better, but you can stay facing forward if you'd like. So facing um, straight ahead, feel your shoulders just drawing down your spine, your core is engaged and lifted. And I want you to go ahead and take your towel now and we're gonna do some roll downs. So I want you to take a deep breath in. You're gonna bring the arms up to the sky. So take your inhale, arms lift. On your exhale, you're gonna to start to bring your chin towards your chest and you're gonna roll the spine down. Let your arms and your head be nice and heavy here. Legs stay straight. So once you get to where you can't go any farther, take an inhale there, and then exhale, start to stack the spine back up. So stacking pelvis over the legs, ribs over pelvis, shoulders over ribs, and then we bring those arms up at the top. We'll do that again. Exhale, round forward. So when you're holding this towel, you're feeling a little tension here, so you're, you're giving it just a little bit of a tug so you can feel that resistance in that upper body. Now take an inhale at the bottom, exhale, start to stack the spine back up, and then the arms will lift up overhead. Give me one more just like that. Inhale, arms lift, exhale, round forward. Think of pulling the belly in and up as the crown of the head and the upper body reaches forward. And then we go ahead and reverse it back up. Good, stacking. And we lift, arms come up to the sky. All right, go ahead and bring those arms down for just a moment. You can stay where you are on your mat. We're gonna get a little side bending now, opening up the side body. So staying still on all four corners of the feet, I want you to go ahead and take an inhale as those arms lift up overhead. Now start to reach over to one side, keeping both feet grounded. So staying heavy in that opposite leg and that foot. Come up through center, over to the other side. Good, opening up. Good, lift up through center. We're gonna do that again, up and over. So think of lifting out of your waistline before you start to come over to the sides. You're still finding length in your sides and not collapsing. Let's do one more each side. Good, center. Last one to the other side. Good, back to center. And then go ahead and lower the arms down. All right, now we're gonna get some rotation. So still a slight bend in the knees here. Arms are gonna come forward now at chest height. Now keeping the arms um, tight on that towel here, shoulders are down. We're just gonna start to rotate that upper body to your left, coming through center, and then over to the other side. Good, so I think you've heard me say this before, you're imagining that you, your arms and your towel are a picture frame, and your head and your upper body are in that picture frame centered so that you're not leaning to one side or the other. So the arms are staying steady while the torso rotates. Good, rotate, good, back to center. Last one to the other side. Good, and back to center. And then go ahead and lower the arms down. All right, so now we're gonna move into our squat. So still with that narrower stance, so right under the hips there. And we're gonna track the knees and the toes in that same direction as we start to sit back into the heels, bring the arms forward, and then we come back up. Good, so sitting back and lift. So I'm gonna face the side. You wanna sit back into those heels so you're not bending the knees over the toes. So sit back and lift up. Squeeze those glutes when you come up, lower and lift. 
Good, lower and lift. Give me five more, five, four, three, that's it. Last two, last one. Good, all the way up. All right, now take those feet, go ahead and turn them out so the toes are more at a maybe 10 and two here and the legs are a little bit wider. So now we're gonna do that wide squat here. So we're gonna go ahead and bring the arms forward and we're gonna lift the towel overhead as we squat down and lift up. If that's too much to bring the arms overhead, just keep the arms forward as you send the hips down. Good, lift, good, and up. Good, give me five more, four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and bring it back to center. I want you to come back to that parallel stance. Now from here, we're gonna start with the towel here and we're gonna alternate leg lifts. So I want you to keep your pelvis nice and steady. Legs are back in that narrow stance. We're gonna start to transfer your weight to one leg as you bring the other leg up and then place it down. Lifting the other up now and lower. Good, so you're trying not to uh, lean too far to that side of the leg that you're on and also trying not to hike the hip up. So you can see what that did. You wanna keep that hip level with the other hip. Good. Now we're gonna to start to use the arms here too. So we're gonna lift the arm, arms at the same time as you lift the leg. Good, do that again. Lift and place it down. Good, lift up and down. Good, so now we're coordinating the movement of the arms with the legs. Good. Lift and down, two more each side. Last set. All right, bring your arms down for a second. Go ahead and roll up the shoulders. Now we're gonna do that same thing with the legs, lifting one at a time. This time we're gonna add a rotation. So arms will start forward. Now, as you lift that left leg up, you're gonna rotate towards that left side. And then as you place that foot down, you come back to center. Now we switch, lift that leg, rotate. Good, place it down and switch. So just the act of that rotation, right? So we don't have that single focus point, but we're turning our head, which makes that balance a little bit harder, right? So just do the best that you can. Let's do two more sets. Good, stay tall. Try not to collapse into the hips or into the waist. Stay lifted, last one. Good, and bring it back down. Good, shake it out here just a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna do a wide, um, or we're gonna do a curtsy lunge. So I want you to go ahead and take your arms forward and we're gonna take our, let's start with our right leg coming back. So we're gonna start to bring that right leg back. As you bend, you can tap the knee down and then come back up and switch to the other side. So I want you to keep your weight more in that front leg, right? So don't lean back too much because it's about that front leg and that glute that's doing that work here. Good, and switch. Now hold here. I want you to bring your arms up to the sky. We're gonna add a little side bend. So now as you bring that left leg back, I'm sorry, right leg back, you're gonna go ahead and bend over towards that side, come up through center, and now come to the other side. Good, lift and over, good, up and over. So you get this nice side opening stretch. That's too much, go ahead and just leave those arms forward. Give me one more each side. Last one and over. Good, and then go ahead and step, bringing those legs down. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and face the end of your mat. We want that space behind you because we're gonna do some reverse lunges here. 
So let's go ahead and start to bring the towel forward, stepping towards the front of that end. And we're gonna do um, alternating reverse lunges. So I want you to take this right leg, we're gonna lift it up, so you're lifting it, just like we did at the beginning. Now go ahead and send it back. Go ahead and come back to that reverse lunge, step into that front leg, lift that right leg, then place it down. We're gonna switch to the other side, lift the left leg. Good, bring it back, tap. Good, lift and down. Good, lift, back, tap. Good, back up and down. And again, left leg lifts, bring it back. Good, lift up and down. Good, now we're gonna add the arms here. So I want you to take your arms, really pull them back, squeezing the shoulders. I want you to go ahead and lift that leg up. As the leg comes back, the arms come forward. And then as the leg comes up, the arms come back and lower. Good, lift, bring it back. Good, up and down. Good, lift, forward. Good, up and down, lift, extend, up and lower. Good, let's do two more each side. Good, up, extend, lift and lower. Last one, just do what you can with those arms. I know it can get complicated. Last one on the left side, good, lift, and lower. Good, go ahead and shake out those legs. All right, go ahead and drop your towel now, just to the front of your mat. And this time I want you to walk back towards the back of your mat here. So we're gonna do a little bit of a roll down into a downward dog. So arms by your sides, on your exhale, chin to chest, we roll the spine down. Okay, eventually you might have to bend those knees, but you'll walk your hands out to that downward dog position. Drop your heels, find that nice stretch. Now we're gonna move this into a little moving lunge. All right, so I want you to go ahead, start to bring this right leg off the floor, and you're gonna send it forward towards your right foot. That left leg stays lifted, so you're in a single lunge with that right leg forward. Now start to lift up to bring that right leg back into downward dog, switch to the other side. So we come forward, left leg comes forward, let the hips sink down a little bit, find that stretch. Let me lift the core up, leg comes back, and then we come back to the other side. Good, hips down, and then pull them up, and back, good, forward, down, good, up, and back. Good, let's do three more sets. Maybe you can move a little bit faster now. Good, keep those shoulders connected down towards the ribs. Last one, or last set, right leg forward, bring it back. Last one, that left side. Good, bring it back, hold that downward dog shape here. Good, now start to roll your spine forward into plank. We're not gonna be here long. All right, so let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and lift those hips. Start to walk the hands back to the feet. So now you'll be back in that rounded forward fold. And then you'll start to roll the spine all the way up until your head lifts. Take a deep breath in here, and exhale, let it go. All right, let's go ahead and come back to the center of the mat. We're gonna do some uh, arms here. We're gonna add a squat to it if that works for you. Otherwise, if it doesn't, just stay in a standing position with these arm exercises. So we're gonna start first with goalpost arms. So here's your goalpost, right? Shoulder, elbow in that same line. Now, if you wanna add the squat, so this is the movement we're gonna do with the arms. We bring them together, and then we open back out. 
not dropping the elbows, so keep those elbows in line with the shoulders, okay? Now if you wanna add the squat, you would squat down as the arms come forward and then lift as the arms come wide. So we come down and up. Good, so not only will you feel this in the tops of the shoulders, your deltoids, but you also feel this in the upper back when you squeeze those shoulders back in together. Good, forward and back. So same rules apply with these squats. We're not leaning forward, but we're sitting back to those heels. Good, give me three more. Three, two, last one. Okay, now from here, we're gonna keep the goalpost arms, but we're gonna lift and lower them. So you're gonna lift them up by the ears, then you're gonna squeeze them back down. So they lift and they squeeze. Good, lift and squeeze. Now if you add, wanna add the squat, you'll lower the hips as the arms come down, then you raise as you lift up. Good, lower and lift. Good, lower, lift. That's it. Squeezing the glutes at the top there. So this is really upper and lower body. Three more, three, two, last one. Now, gonna bring your arms to T arms and we're gonna do our circles. So think little circles here, all right? Now, if you wanna add the squat, you're just gonna hold that squat position as you do those circles. So little small circles right at the shoulder joint. Good, give me five, four, three, two, one. Good, stand it up. Good, reverse those circles. And then squat down if you wanna add that. Hold it steady. So you shouldn't be rocking or shaking that upper body, just those arms circling. Give me six, five, four, Three, two, one, and then come all the way up. All right, last one for the arm work here is we're gonna take your hands into fists. All right, now we're gonna start to bring the fists across the body just like this, moving down. So alternating which one's on top. And then we're gonna come back up. Good, so making this a little bit of a faster motion. And if you wanna add the squats, right, as the arms lower, the hips lower, as the arms lift, the hips lift. Good. Good. That's it, everything else staying nice and steady. So that core is still working here. Keep you stable. Good, keep that moving. Good, do one more set. And last one, if you're doing the squat, I want you to hold it down there. Just cross up and down, holding that squat. Good. Last one. And last time up. Good, reach the arms up high and then stand it all the way back up. All right, let's go ahead and shake out those shoulders just a little bit. We're gonna do a single, single leg balancing work. So we've been doing a lot of alternating. We're gonna stay on one side for just a little bit. So go ahead and bring your hands on your hips and find that narrow leg stance. Now from here, we're gonna to start to bend the knees just ever so slightly so they're not coming into that deep squat position. Now we're gonna transfer your weight to your right leg and we're gonna take this left leg we're gonna start to do circles with this leg. So we're just stabilizing on that right side. And that left leg here is the only thing that's moving. So we have to find rotation here in the hip socket, like forward, around and up. And it does have to bend a little bit as it comes through center. Last one this direction. Good, now let's go ahead and reverse it. So we're gonna go back to the side, around and in. Good, back to the side, around and in. You may need a counter or something to hold on to. That's perfectly fine. Give me three more in this direction. Last two. Last one. 
Good, and then stand it all the way up. All right, so I'm feeling that in my ankle. That ankle stability is definitely part of that as well. So we're gonna do that other side. So start to sit back and down. Good, core is in. Just again, that slight bend, I probably went a little too far. And then transfer your weight to your left leg. And same thing here. So this right leg for me definitely has better balance. Although I know as soon as I say that, I'm gonna to start to fall over. Good. Two more times in this direction. Find something nice and steady. See, there I go. Last one. Good, and reverse it. Good, and in, back. Circle it around, and in, three more, three. You got it, two. Ah, last one. Good, and in. Go ahead and stand it up and shake the legs out. All right, so now I'm gonna have you bend your knees a little bit again. This time though, you're gonna be able to place your hands on your thighs. So we're just gonna get a little extension and different movement in the spine. So with your hands on your legs, right? So the legs are gonna stay steady. I want you to go ahead and take an inhale as you start to lift the heart and chest, get a little bit of a back bend. Exhale as you scoop the belly round the spine. Good, do that again. Inhale to lengthen. Think of this kind of like a standing cat-cow. Exhale round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Okay, give me three more. Three. Last two. And last one, extend. Good, and round. Good, straighten the legs, come all the way up to standing. Now take an inhale here. Exhale, chin to chest. Round all the way forward. And keep your head nice and heavy. We're gonna start to do single leg knee bends here. So if you can bring your hands to the floor, go ahead and do that. You're gonna start to bend your right knee, letting that left hip kind of kick out to the side. And then we'll switch to the other side. So this is a beautiful hamstring stretch, outer hip and glute stretch. Just a nice way to start to bring the breath down. That standing balance work always gets my heart rate up, gets me sweating a little bit. Okay, now straighten both legs here. Just let the head hang heavy. Go ahead and grab your um, elbows with your hands, opposite elbow. And just let yourself breathe here, letting the upper body just release down towards the floor. Good, one more breath. And then you're gonna start to come back up. Good, eventually you'll come all the way up to that full standing position. Good, your head lifts. Give me one more deep breath in as you bring those arms out and up to the sides, reaching towards the sky. Good, keep that length and then bring the arms all the way down. Very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you are interested in adding a little more on, I have a great standing a stretching routine that I'll go ahead and link here. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna link just more of our, one of our traditional Pilates mat workouts um, where, where we'll be on the floor for the whole time. So I'll go ahead and link that here as well. Um, thank you guys. Let me know what you thought of that. I know you guys like the standing workout. So um, that's why I'm, I'm bringing that to you today. So please let me know what you thought below. And I look forward to seeing you next time.